welcome back everybody another beautiful day here and uh we're getting back to work on the jeep so if you guys watched the last video you saw i hobble cobbled this together beautiful weld i know thank you everyone and now it's time to start reassembling the front end or not the front end the front of the engine and last time or not last time a little while ago i took off the water pump because i made a different you know neck for my heater core because i didn't like where the old one was or the factory one so i took it off i just put it on you know without redoing the gasket or anything and i actually have a new water pump jeff gifted me so i'm gonna throw that new water pump on we're gonna change the gaskets get it all sealed up get a new gasket on this guy of course i melted the crap out of the temperature sensor so we're gonna replace that get the, all this stuff squared away and I bought a couple parts from uh, our good friends at Rock Auto. And it's time to put those on. So obviously this power steering line is uh, destroyed. And I have a power, newer power steering box down there. We got to redo the lines. But when I was taking off the return line on the reservoir, you can kind of see in there, this guy cracked right off. So I'm assuming this is probably the original reservoir and pump. So I don't feel like ch changing the pump right now. This one has been working fine, doesn't burn fluid. So we're gonna attempt to do the dreaded reservoir change, which is not too bad. You gotta take it off and there's these metal clips that hold it on. I've done it before on uh, customer's Jeeps, but it's a little bit of a pain in the butt, those clips, but we'll get it. All right, so I think I showed you guys that. Uh... So I took this baddie back off, obviously put the gasket back, or put a new gasket in the way it needed to go. I ripped the old one, taking it off, of course. And put everything back together. New uh, box and everything. So I got new lines for my power steering. I got to set them up. But I wanted to throw the radiator in and see how it fits, how this guy's going to line up, all that fun stuff. So I'm going to get that guy in and see how she looks. And just like that, the rat is in. So... I bought this guy on eBay. It's just a silicone 90 with a long section and a shorter one, cut to fit. So that should work like a beauty. Now I'm gonna throw my heater lines on. I have to figure out a way to, you know, kind of mount them a little bit, just enough so that they're not like flopping, rubbing on anything. Cause I mean, it, the hoses are cheap, but it's something you don't want to deal with in the middle of the woods. So we'll get that sorted out. And, uh, Obviously, this is going to come off again and come in and out. I got to figure out a fan setup. So I was playing with the new rad and I noticed that, uh, well, it's not a new rad. Jeff donated it to me after he put the 4.8 in his Jeep. And uh, he had the old Renex motor in there, Renex, Renex, whatever you want to call it. And it has that close, that sealed cooling system and he uh, liked to rust it up, so. I'm trying to clean that thing out, try to get all the rust out before I send it all through my motor, which is fairly clean on the inside. So I'm going to try to flush that thing out a bit. While that's sitting there, I want to start putting the turbo back on and start figuring all that stuff out. So bear with me. Well, I'm still trying to clean out that radiator and uh, it's becoming a little more of a PIA. So we'll call it at that. Everything's pretty much buttoned up in the front end i gotta put some power steering lines on stuff like that little stuff little wiring but stay tuned and maybe uh, i'll have the front end done we'll start creeping towards the back of the jeep so tune in next time 